Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you the things you need to master in head-to-head. -head. I know a majority of you guys probably don't know them, but the pros probably know. Please leave this video a like, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let's get into it. First is the fake shot. Many of you are familiar with it, but some probably don't. The fake shot is like an extra skill move, and when mastered, it can be very useful in many situations, and can also help you score more goals. For those who don't know how to do it, you swipe the shoot button to the left, while also moving the joystick in the direction you want to go. Next is 1v1 against a goalkeeper. Sometimes you will be in situations where you will have to face the goalkeeper one-on-one, -on -one, and the best way to score against them is to use the finesse shot. Keepers have a hard time save finesse shots, and make sure you turn a bit and use the player's strong foot to finesse it in. Or you can be ballsy and dribble past the goalkeeper. Next is something I keep forgetting exists, is the hard tackle. The hard tackle is a more advanced way of tackling and can be very effective when used correctly. But it's very easy to miss the tackle and the recovery time of very slow. So in order to use it correctly, you have to master it. I suggest you play the Euro tournament on legendary difficulty to practice. Next is the kickoff glitch. That's what I call it. You basically send your striker running, and you have to pass to the striker, and the striker hopefully scores. It can be effective when you're a goal down, or when you just want to score. Let me show you how to do it. When you kick off, you immediately press the through button and swipe down. That will send your striker running. Then you pass to a player that is free and wait for your striker to get near the back line. And you use the through lob pass to pass to the striker. You won't always score from this, but it is important you master it, so you can use it to score. Sometimes. Next is the heel-to-heel -heel flick skill move. This move when mastered can be dangerous. All you need is a fast attacker, and the skill move, once you get past your opponent's backline, it's almost impossible for a defender to catch up. So practice using this skill move and master it. It can be very useful. Next is something I call receive and turn. You basically receive the ball and turn. By doing this, you can create a lot of opportunities and get many scoring chances. Let me show you how to do it. When you pass from one player to another and when your opponent is pressing you, you simply pick a direction and turn using the joystick and leave your opponent for dust. It is very difficult to defend against and is very effective. If you can master this, your gameplay will improve a lot. You can also add a skill move to the receive and turn any skill move will do. Next is something similar to the one I just showed you, but this one I call it the fake turn. The fake turn is basically fooling your opponent by making him think you're going one direction, but in reality, you're going the other way. This is something many pros do, and is very effective. I personally use this a lot, especially during the build-up phase, and you simply can't go wrong with this. It is important you master it. Next is weak foot shooting. You will be in situations where you have to shoot with your player's weak foot, and the odds of scoring are slim, you can easily miss, so it is important you master weak foot shooting. But let me give you some tips. When you're near the goalkeeper, you don't have to put power on the shot, just tap the shoot button. 
When you're further away, you have to put a bit more power, but not too much. Just a quarter. But when you're outside the box, you have to use full power to be able to score. Next is something you all are familiar with. Joystick dribbling. Many of you know how effective joystick dribbling is, so I won't get into that much. But just know that you have to master it if you haven't yet. Next is the goalie rush. The goalie rush can be very helpful in certain situations. You need to know at what moment you should do the goalie rush. And there is also this thing where you do the goalie rush and stop the rush and the keeper goes back that can also be very helpful. But it have a 40% success rate. Next is the passing. There are many different types of passing. And you have to know what type of pass you have to use in certain situations. For example, you can't use the through pass in the build-up phase, it won't be accurate. Through balls are used in counter-attacks. And when a player is through on goal, so it's important you master which passes to use in different situations. Lastly is swipe shooting. Swipe shooting is another way of shooting without pressing the button, and is low-key better than pressing the button. I personally don't use it that much, but when I do use it, it's very helpful. Keep in mind, they are easy to miss, especially when you swipe too hard. So try mastering it, so you don't miss. That's all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave this video a like. If it helped and comment down your thoughts about this video, I would really like to hear some feedback from you guys. And lastly, subscribe for more content. Peace.